Casey for Innovative Sugarworks, and today I'm going to tell you how to prep a board for our brand new sugar structure. This is like, I'm so excited it's finally, it's finally here, um, but it's actually a very simple procedure to get a board ready. I've got one here that I've already prepped, and all I have is, this is half inch plywood from any hardware store. I prefer to use plywood over MDF or any particle board because screws will not rip out of this because it's got the cross directional grain. If you see from the bottom, one runs this way, one runs this way, and one runs this way again. That will keep your screws from, from ripping out of the wood. Not really important if you're doing one of the standing armatures, but if you're doing one of the running armatures, especially once the way the cake is on there, one good speed bump might cause them to rip out. It's not a sure thing, but it, I've seen it happen and it's terrifying. So just, just get plywood um, because you need the grain of the wood to hold the screws in. The other thing I've done for this is you can see I've put four feet on it so that I can get my fingers under the board. I'm a big proponent of finger, hold, finger holds. And this is just um, half inch or 10 millimeter foam board. I use my scraps to make my feet. And then on the top, I glued another piece of the five millimeter or the three sixteenth inch, yes, three sixteenth inch foam core, uh, just to make sure that this is flush with the surface of our base. So you can see we got our base here. It's so shiny. Um, if you put the base in this hole, the surface is completely even. That's the only reason I have this foam core on here. If you're putting the base in a place where you won't see it, or if you're burying it in sand or something, you don't have to do this step of making it flush. This is just for me, because I, I always do this because I'm neurotic. So from here, before you drill this down into the wooden board, you want to put your rubber stoppers in it. All of your kits should come with four extra of these little, these little rubber guys. These are what ensure there's tension in the armature so that you can screw everything in and it will hold its positioning. This is a new thing we've developed that makes it so much easier so you don't have to worry about threads getting ripped. But I go in from the bottom. I put my finger over the base, pop one in. You want to pop two in to make sure you get great tension. So there's two. You can see from the top it's almost at the top lip. That ensures, because what happens is as you screw in every metal piece, it makes these these little rubber pieces flatten out and it pushes it up against the threads of the metal to hold it in place and hold it in place tightly. So once you've got that, go ahead and place it down on your board. I've already pre-drilled three holes so it's easier to screw. And you use your screws from the kit. Or if you're just buying them from the hardware store, these are um, three quarter inch number 10 heads. I'm sorry, three quarter inch number eight heads. You just need a screw. And I like to use a ratcheting screwdriver if you don't have a um, power drill. Get them nice and tight. Everybody likes it when it's nice and tight. And there you go. Now you've got your nice flush surface to begin with. You can cover your board with fondant or sand or grass, whatever you see fit. And from here, we're ready to start building our armature. So that is how you build a nice sturdy base.